What really puts Machine Guns on the map is that whilst we're making really strong narrative games, we give enough room to have the proper gameplay experience. So if you look at it from a scientific point of view, it's a fantasy, it's not real life. But from an emotional point of view, we want it to feel real. We want you to feel like you're there. Nazis work really well because we can all agree that they're bad guys. You don't mind mm. wiping them out. I mean, who doesn't want to kill Nazis? <laughs> Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. The Nazis are really expanding when it comes to research with the technology. So you will see old versions coming back but improve with new technology, but you also see completely new enemies. We have bumped them up a bit. They are a little bit bigger, more intimidating, more fun to kill, I hope. If you're up for the challenge, you can definitely bring up your biggest guns and try and take them head on. If you're good, it might work. On the other hand, if you want to be more clever, maybe you want to find a vantage point, bring up a weapon that you attach a scope on, and maybe even a silencer, and start taking them out from afar. You go down, you start sneaking, start taking them out with melee moves in a more precise manner. With stealth in Wolfenstein, it's not about avoiding contact or avoid killing, it's about how to kill them silently, how to take them out one by one. If it goes wrong, you can still just bring up two weapons and clear the room. Each combat scenario has one or two commanders, and those are the important targets. What we're doing now for New Colossus is to make sure that the commanders can call for reinforcement several times. I think the coolest thing we've done is that you can now dual wield freely. You can mix the weapons any way you want with left and right hand. I enjoy having like a precise silent weapon in one hand, and then like my backup, if shit breaks loose, this is my go-to, so I don't have to start switching weapon during combat. But you can also see people going with one long range and one close range. You know, you walk around the corner, you have your close range weapon ready. And some people just want two shotguns. We are introducing a hatchet that gives us a lot of opportunities to make the takedowns a little bit more excessive. There's a lot of things you can do with a hatchet and a Nazi. No matter how crazy things get, you are always emotionally invested in what you're doing. We don't want the player to just play BJ Blazkowicz, we want the player to feel like they actually are BJ Blazkowicz. For this game, our theme was catharsis. So at the end of it, I think you will be ready to go out on the streets and start a revolution. Nuts, 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 nuts.